Hello, this is Azanar welcoming you to another episode of Crusader Kings 2, The House of Flanders. In the last episode here, uh, Pepin declared our war, supporting Karl to come back and be Fran uh, King of France again. Uh, Burgundy, a lot of Norman here, the here switched to Burgundy. I'm not uh, exactly sure why the Duke here managed to inherit it. Um, and I realize that I've actually caused us a great disservice by um, <laughs> being the one to attack the armies. It wasn't counting at all for war score for us. I'm now going to stay away from battle and simply siege down provinces. Uh, contributing to the war score that way. My grandmother died of cancer. Shucks. Ragnachar the Inquisitor. Oh, just a guy. Okay. He had the same name as me, so I was wondering who he was. I need a new designated regent. Wow. Who better than my wife? Who absolutely fucking loves me. I love my wife, too. She's great. Yeah, see, now he's fighting this army. Yeah, so that actually counted for some more score. Possible to rank up. Awesome. Whoa. Well, we're going to do that then. To an ab Why are you fighting a host army? Awesome. And now I'll get more monthly... I can now take a vow of celibacy. Well, I'm not going to do that right now. Oh, Carl, what is it? For Pepin's claim on the Empire? Oh, boy. I don't know what's going on anymore. And bringing Ragnall to the local monastery. Oh, he'll gain some learning. And some Marshall. Oh, he at least gained a one Marshall. Okay. New commander. Ugh. I guess Burkhard. Okay, now. What's happening in the Empire is that there's a revolt to make Pepin the Emperor. Now, hopefully, we can win our war here to make Karl King again before that one succeeds, if it does. Hopefully it doesn't, but... I don't know. Things have gotten messy. And we're basically just trying to get by here. Hopefully, yeah, now go fight that army again. There you go. Good job. Nice. People of games. Oh, do I have anybody in my dungeon? I do. I will ransom and free. Okay, good. That puts up to 75% war score. Nice.
Now I have some money here. Um, let's take a look at things. Keep levying garrison size. It's a lot of money though. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go up to cattle, uh, cattle, castle fortifications too, just in our capital here. Um, yeah, just in the capital. And I'll get fortifications here as well. In Yeep, uh, get me a militia training grounds. We want to keep sort of building up our provinces here, building up our military strength, at least to level one. You know, at least have all the buildings at level one for now. We can always increase it later if we need to, but we want to be as powerful within ourselves as possible here. Oh, sweet. Learning and diplomacy. Oh, it's focused on what they're focused on. Three learning and two diplomacy. That was really good. It's your older brother, Ragnald. Rowdy. Nice. Curious. Idolizer. Willful. He's got good traits. He's got ten learning. Only five martial at eleven. But... He's he's being raised by us, and we're not a martial guy. What we're going to do, though, is um, go to me, go to my sister, go to her husband, Ragnald. Ragnald is a brilliant strategist. Ragnald is going to tutor our firstborn. And I'm sure that will do the job. Because my son has four martial. If he can take brilliant strategist and get some of the good traits, uh, good outcome traits of his traits, he can have twenty martial and still have that ten learning and stuff. What is what is his stewardship? Six. See, I think our heir here is going to be very good. Now he might not actually be our heir. Um, have we been in power long enough? Yes, we have. When this war is done, when we're at peace again, County of Evro, Barrow, ooh. But that would require us to go to war with the Duke of Burgundy, who has a lot of troops. That's a, not a good thing for us to do. Trust me, Barrow, I would love to have you be a count and bring some more uh, territory into our lands, but... <laughs> No. Yeah, once we're at peace here, I'm going to administer my realm and bring in seniority succession. There are many mysteries in the Catholic faith. Okay, gain piety. Oh, we're done our religious studies, so we're just getting 20 more piety. That's awesome. Yeah, let them in. Ooh. A eunuch. He will always be loyal to me. Now, I would like to make him by Spy Master. Um, I can't yet.
Nice. A mare. We're going to ransom him back for some money. Okay. Awesome. Of course you're going to pay. You received a draft. So I can get an extra diplomacy through Patron of the Arts, or Preserver of Poetry for Piety. Well, we'll take the Piety. We'll follow his wishes, you know? Twenty Piety. Ancient Wisdom. More learning. Religious studies will be removed, and we'll get Religious Philosopher. Nice. Okay. Put down our troops. Awesome. Emperor Karl is now the king of Paris. He's got it from Count Theodoric of Paris. And we are now back in the empire. Oh. Cool. Me and him are close friends. That's awesome. I have a friend in the Dominican Order. That makes me happy, I guess? Oh, he's transferred some vassal contracts. Not bad, not bad. Border disputes. Yeah, you lose a ton of pie in gold for that, though. So I'm not going to do that. But now that we're at peace, we're now going to do some administration here. We need another commander. Oh, Shilperic, the Count of Julek. I actually want to see, how'd you turn out, bud? You're a scholarly theologian. Cool. Um... Oh, yeah, he wants to be something. Um, huh. Yeah, he really wants to see it on the council. But you're not really good at anything. He likes me enough, though, so. Yes, we're going to introduce our heir to the realm. We can press weak claims on a Tom. For my wife? Claim the barony of a Tom. Oh, it's held by Theodoric of Paris. Oh, we will definitely do that. Um, no, we're declaring war on Upper Lorraine. We don't have the troops for that right now. We need to let these vassal levies and stuff burn off anyways. Education, Ragnald Roding. Okay. This one's bad, but Willful and Rowdy are good. We're going to do a martial education. And we are going to assign as your guardian Ragnald. That should do good. <laughs> he insulted the bishop. That's hilarious. Yeah, we're going to all fight over who's going to be the emperor, eh? Okay, now before I do anything, I need to change my stupid inheritance laws. Okay. 
No vassal has a negative opinion of me. Well, I'm sure somebody does. So, yeah, it's the mayor of Kortrick. <laughs> he's incapable. So he's a moron and he doesn't like me. Well, we'll send him some money. See, we could do elective monarchy. We could. But people just gang up on me. Whenever I do elective monarchy, people seem to gang up on me. We are going to move to seniority. Domain is too big. Yes, it's going to be too big by one now because we did that. But I'm not giving up any of this land. When we get the chance, uh, in 10 years, when we can pass another law, we're going to pass to medium centralization. And then that should be good. Awesome. My heir is still my son, Ragnall Roding. Don't I have a nephew? I thought I had a nephew. No, because her only son, Willachar, yes, now I remember that. I don't have a nephew. Her only son, Willachar, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, that's good. Okay. Invite to plot. The heir to the throne, Princess Adelinda of the Empire, wants me to back the plot to kill the Emperor. No! <laughs> I'm not doing that. I just engaged in a war to make him our leader again. And you want me to help you kill him. Ridiculous. What's going on in Yeep? Okay, you're still building something in Yeep. Uh, what about here? Uh, yeah, I get fortifications in uh, games there. That seems like a good idea. Yay, my militia training ground. It seems as if Ragnold has started getting along incredibly well with the child of one of the visiting vassals. Ah, oh, they're friends. Siegwald Gunbert's heir to the barony of St. Omer. Oh, son of the baron of St. Omer. Well, that's cool. Good to see Ragnall making some friends. He's going to need some friends in the future. Carling, advisor. Absolutely, my liege. Absolutely. What does your council look like? <laughs> oh, wow, nobody hates you. Zealots, a pragmatist, four glory hounds. That guy, oh my god, that guy has no eyes. Why does he have no eyes? <laughs> what is this character? He's a brilliant strategist, battlefield terrain master, a genius, 29 marshal. He has no fucking eyes. Oh yeah, he's a strategist. But he's been blinded. Minus six Marshall. He still has 29 Marshall, even though he has no freaking eyes. So what? They they put him up on a hilltop. Ask, it's like, what's going on? And when they tell him what's going on, he's like, do this. And then they win? That is ridiculous. Oh, that's hilariously ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, with this, with this revolt uh, to put Pepin on the throne, to be honest, I really don't care who wins. Um, the importance of getting to this point, uh, I'll say really quickly here, um, the, the, getting to this point is not about Karl himself, it's not about Charlemagne, it's about this empire. Now that there's an empire, the, the kingdoms can flee, uh, freely flow, it doesn't matter who's in charge. Um, whoever is in charge needs to start bringing some of these territories back under the empire, though. But it's, it's really about the strength of this empire. 
and of Catholicism in the center of Europe against these strong, credible, barbarian pagan threats on our doorstep. Cool, Hedronites have come to visit. Um, freeze access. Oh, wow, everybody will very much dislike me for 60 months. Welcome them reluctantly. No! Let's throw them a lavish feast. Absolutely. Spend some money. As Ragnald introduces himself to Mayor Abraham of Kortrick, he not only presents himself with grace, but manages to impress him. Oh, I'm not a complete moron. That's funny. That is funny. But at this point in time, this episode has been long enough. This is Azanar signing off. If you like this video, give me a like. If you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing to my channel. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.